In the 1890s, the railroads found a new source of income, tourism. The first tourist town was Hot Springs. People flocked to the town for the medicinal benefits of the naturally warm water. And of course, Fred Evans catered to them by building the Evans Hotel. And um, it was a really hopping place for a long time, but it had to do with you know bringing them in for the hot springs. Trains brought people to towns, but a lot of tourists wanted to go farther. They found their way to the resort areas, which eventually became Custer State Park, uh, through stagecoaches that were local in, in nature. And so these tally-ho stagecoaches, they called them, would haul passengers just like a taxi cab would haul them today. By 1900, railroads were offering package tours. At the same time, more and better roads were reaching the tourist spots. It was the beginning of the end for Black Hills Railroads. Once more roads went into the higher hills, the freight service started to decline, the passenger service started to decline, and then that just snowballed across the country. So by the 1950s, the passenger train was the rarity. One by one, rail lines were abandoned. In 1949, the last passenger train to run through the old line through the middle of the hills ran from Deadwood to Edgemont. The freight business held on, barely, until 1983, when the last scheduled train left Deadwood. Only one operating rail line exists in the Black Hills now, the tourist-oriented 1880 train connecting Hill City to Keystone. The only way you can ride a train is on the 1880 train. And of course, that's still steam powered. And uh, it gives folks a real sense of what traveling by rail was because from Hill City to Keystone, 10 miles takes one hour. So that, do the math, it's 10 miles an hour. 